The location for rebuilding the third temple has changed, and the first stone has been laid. These are no ordinary stones. They're prepared by Jewish hands to honor God's name. But what is the new location for the third temple? Join us in today's video to learn about rebuilding God's temple and its new location. In the Bible, the book of Daniel chapter 9 verse 27 speaks about a covenant and the desolation of a temple. This verse holds great importance, and to understand Daniel chapter 9 verse 27 better, we need to grasp why the Jewish temple is so crucial. There have been two temples in Israel's history, both on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. First is Solomon's temple. King Solomon built the first temple, which stood until 586 BC. It was destroyed when Israel was exiled to Babylon. The second is Herod's temple. The second temple, Herod's temple, was constructed from 538 to 515 BC and modified by King Herod before Jesus' birth. However, this temple met its demise at the hands of the Romans in 70 AD. Now let's dive into the specific verse, Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. He shall make a strong covenant with many for one week, and for half of the week he shall put an end to sacrifice and offering, and on the wing of abominations shall come the one who makes desolate until creed and is poured out on the desolator. This verse is often seen as prophetic, and its interpretation can vary. Some believe it foreshadows a future covenant and desolation, while others associate it with historical events. Regardless of interpretation, it underscores the temple's significance, the messianic era and temple restoration. The reconstruction of the Jewish temple holds profound meaning. It is intricately linked to Israel's restoration and the coming messianic era. The rebuilt temple is believed to be where Jesus will establish his kingdom and rule over the earth. Moreover, the temple reconstruction symbolizes the defeat of Israel's adversaries and their presence on the land being erased. This signifies a period of peace and prosperity for Israel. In Matthew chapter 24, verses 1 and 2, Jesus predicted the destruction of the temple. There will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. This prophecy came true when Herod's temple was destroyed, emphasizing the importance of Jesus' words and the temple's role in biblical history. The Controversy Surrounding the Rebuilding of the Third Temple Following the destruction of the Second Temple in 70 AD, the rebuilding of the Jewish Third Temple has been a subject of much debate and significance. As foretold by Jesus, the Jewish Temple has not been rebuilt since its destruction in 70 AD. Instead, in 691 AD, the Dome of the Rock, a Muslim shrine, was constructed on the original Jewish Temple Mount. Subsequently, a mosque was built and rebuilt multiple times, with the current Al-Aqsa Mosque being erected in 1033 AD. One key challenge to the reconstruction of the Third Temple lies in the belief that it must be built on the original Temple Mount. This condition makes it contingent on either the removal of Muslim structures or the relinquishment of Muslim sovereignty over the site. Objections to Rebuilding the Third Temple There are several common objections to rebuilding the Third Temple. The first objection is the finished work of Jesus. Some argue that Jesus' finished work renders the physical temple obsolete, especially in terms of personal redemption. While true Christianity may not require a physical temple, it's important to note that Jesus did not make the Jewish temple obsolete. It was never open to Gentiles or Christians. Jews, according to Ezekiel chapters 40 to 48, are expected to minister to Christ in the temple during the millennium, serving a national purpose. The second objection is the restoration of biblical laws and the sacrificial system. Another objection arises from the belief that rebuilding the temple implies a return to the biblical laws and sacrificial system in the end times. However, it's crucial to remember that all of Israel is meant to turn to Christ. This transformation is expected to occur once the millennium begins, leading to a new era of faith, the future of the third temple, sacrifices, political tensions, and biblical prophecy. The rebuilding of the third temple is anticipated to involve the resumption of animal sacrifices, as prophesied in Ezekiel. It is essential to clarify that these sacrifices do not relate to personal salvation or following Christ. According to Ezekiel 44, Israel owes a national sin debt for past idolatry. 
Consequently, Jews will be required to perform religious services not mandated for Gentiles, emphasizing that these practices are unrelated to individual salvation. Ezekiel 44 further highlights the distinctive nature of the temple service. It specifies that certain gates shall remain shut, signifying the exclusivity of certain rituals. This reinforces the notion that the temple practices have a specific national and historical context, separate from the broader concept of personal salvation. In the current context of political unrest and conflicts over Jerusalem's governance, the question arises, how can Jews reconstruct the temple with Islamic structures in place? This dilemma points to the historical and geopolitical tensions surrounding Jerusalem. These tensions are not dissipating, but rather escalating, indicating that the re-establishment of the Third Temple might be accompanied by geopolitical challenges. The anticipation of a war is rooted in the historical tensions surrounding Jerusalem. The people's impatience and the desire to restore full Jewish practice are met with surrounding nations' weariness of waiting for the perceived eradication of the Jewish population. While the specific trigger for a conflict remains uncertain, the resumption of sacrifices on the Temple Mount is envisioned, potentially leading to military intervention in Jerusalem. Biblical Prophecy – The End Time Scenario Biblical prophecy, particularly in Daniel and Revelation, foretells an end-time scenario involving the Jewish Temple. The Antichrist, dominating the world, is predicted to desecrate the Temple. The faithful Jewish people will be expelled from the Temple Mount due to their refusal to worship the Antichrist, this aligns with Jesus' validation of Daniel's prophecy in the Olivet Discourse, where he refers to the desecration as the abomination of desolation. The ultimate destiny of the Third Temple is outlined in Zechariah chapter 6, verse 12, where it is proclaimed that the man whose name is the branch will build the temple of the Lord. Revelation chapter 11, verses 1 and 2 provides a glimpse into the measuring of the temple in the end times. However, the precise location of the Third Temple is a contemporary question. Recent archaeological findings outside Jerusalem's old city walls have fueled discussions about potential sites for the reconstruction. The potential temple location, City of David. The name, City of David, appears in several passages in the Bible, including 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 9. It is a significant historical and archaeological site in Israel, the City of David is currently one of Israel's most extensively excavated archaeological sites. Of particular interest is the phrase, David built all around, which has sparked curiosity among researchers. Recent discoveries have revealed the ruins of five other urban sites connected by roadways dating back to around 1000 BC, coinciding with King David's reign. The remarkable similarity in design and details of these cities has led some archaeologists to speculate about the existence of a complex monarchy centered around a central stronghold, possibly linked to David. Some reports and videos claim to present new information regarding the original temple location, suggesting it could be within a cave, different from today's commonly assumed location. This debate raises intriguing questions about the historical placement of King Solomon's original temple. When it comes to the restoration of the temple, what matters most is what the Jewish people believe about its proper location. The decision on where to rebuild the temple will ultimately rest with them. Many believe that the Dome of the Rock, a Muslim shrine, occupies the original temple site. According to the Temple Institute of Jerusalem, this site is the Rock, the Dome of the Rock. For the third temple to be reconstructed, the Dome of the Rock must no longer exist on the site. It's essential to clarify that the Dome of the Rock is not a mosque, but an Islamic building with significant religious and historical importance. Some individuals suggest the possibility of a Jewish temple coexisting with the Dome of the Rock, while others argue that the Dome must be removed entirely. The issue of the temple location is a complex and contentious one. It involves deep historical and religious significance, as well as political implications. The debate continues, and the final decision on the temple's location will depend on various factors, including religious beliefs, archaeological evidence, and geopolitical considerations. The world watches closely as discussions unfold to see how this critical aspect of religious history will evolve. What do you think of the new update by Jerusalem on the Third Temple location change? Comment below and subscribe for more.